Dear applicants, thank you for participating in Inha University in Tashkent admission test. For prospective students at IUT, welcome to the preliminary orientation. The purpose of this video is to provide you with orientation about entrance exam instructions. Make sure you listen orientation very carefully as all misbehavior and responsibilities will lay on your shoulders. Thank you. Please attention. Please read your instruction in detail. Check your examination date and entry time on your instruction. No one is allowed to get in the exam hall after entry time. Here is a timetable including arrival time and examination hour on April 23rd, Saturday. There are two sessions of Sochi Department exams, Sochi 1 and Sochi 2. Sochi 1 applicants should arrive at the examination hall by 9.10 a.m. The exam shall start at 10 a.m. And so she two applicants should arrive at examination hall by 10.40 a.m. The exam shall start at 12.30 a.m. And here is the timetable including arrival time and examination hour on the next day, April 24th, Sunday. SBL applicants should arrive at examination hall by 10.10 a.m. The exam shall start at 11 a.m. Please make sure that you do not arrive late for the examination. Here are the things to prepare for you. The first one is identification card or passport. A valid, a valid passport or ID card is required. And also you need a wristband. It will be given to you today. Things you must keep in mind. For SOCHI contract applicants, you will have the exams on two subjects, mathematics, 14 questions included, and physics, six questions included, for an hour. For SBL applicants, you will have the exam only one subject, mathematics, 20 questions included, for an hour. Please remember, there will be no extra time for marking answers on the OMR card answer sheet, and that you should mark the answers within the given time. There is only one correct answer per each question. No penalty point is applied to an incorrect answer. There will be no break time during the exam. And lastly, you are not allowed to leave the exam hall during the exam. Here are the things you must obey before, during and after the exam. You must follow every instruction given by the exam headquarter and proctors. Do not commit any form of cheating, misbehavior or suspicious behaviors. Only use the pen given by in high university. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Never call the proctor loudly for any reason. Once the exam starts, the exam paper and OMR card shall not be replaced. You cannot use the bathroom during the exam. When the proctor says time is up, please raise both your hands and put it on your hand. You can see the actual OMR answer sheet for associate applicants on this page. And I will explain how you need to fill in the information and answers. You must mark on your choice on the OMR answer sheet. You can find your application number on the wristband. On the left side of the OMR answer sheet, applicants are only allowed to fill in until application number box only. Please do not mark on following boxes. For example, if you are James Dean and your associate applicant and you got the test paper type B and your application number is 10235, you need to mark as shown on the slide. For surname, Dean, given name, James, James, Department, Sochi, and the test type is B and application number is 10235. I hope you understand here. After you write down your application number, you need to match each number of your application number with the small numbers below. 
And as I have mentioned earlier, please do not mark on the following boxes of the application number box. And here same goes for SBL applicants. You must mark your choice on the OMR answer sheet and you can find your application number on the wristband. So for example, if you are James Dean and your SBL applicant, your B type and your application number is B10010, you need to fill in as it is shown on the screen right here. And here some guidelines to fill out your OMR card, which is answer sheet. Check and find out the type of your examination paper first. You can find your test type in the upper left of the exam paper cover page. Write down on your OMR card the same type as that of your examination paper so that your OMR card and your examination paper will be matched for each other as a pair. Fill out the left side of OMR card with your personal information such as your last and first name, registration number and the department name, SOCI or SBL you apply for. You must mark only one answer choice per each question on answer sheet. If you need correction tape, raise your hand, never call the proctor. Dear students, from now on I will be explaining to you how to use your answer sheet and how to remove three ceilings from your examination paper. So as you can see, you have answer sheet, your examination paper and two pens, black and red. With the black pen, you can fill out this box, surname, given name, and department. After you are done writing your personal information here, you go to write your test type. You can check your test type on the up left corner of the examination paper, right here. In my case, it is A type. So I am marking the A type right here. After you need to write your application number. You can check your application number right here on your wristband. So it is 10235. 10235. And then we mark here accordingly in small numbers. So now you're done with the left part. You can start making your answers right here. However, make sure that you transfer your answers from the examination paper to answer sheet on the given time because there are no extra time given. Also, make sure that you fill out the down part of your examination paper right here. So, Department of Application Soshi, application number, passport number, surname, and given name. After, with a red pen, please remove three ceilings on your examination paper. Take the first page and slit it fast. And do the same with two other ceilings. Now you're done. You can start your exam. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. Do your best and good luck on your exam.